Hello everybody, hope you're all alright. We're just having a me be meditating there. Oh yeah, meditation's really good. Uh, try it, you know, it, it, amazing where it can take you. I went on a beach meet, meeting all my uh, family what uh, has passed over uh, from past and animals and that. Oh, it was lovely. We had real fun on the beach and that. So try meditation, you know. It's amazing what you can come up with in meditation. So just try that. Right, today we've got some fan mail. Oh, I've got loads of fan mail at the moment. I've got thousands. I've had to hire a garage down the road here. Yeah? And there are just stacks and stacks of bags of my fan mail. In the thousands. I'm going to have to have a secretary. I really am. Uh, so we're going to... Uh, pull some cards for you today from this deck and it's the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle cards by Radley Valentine so a card for each of the fan mail there's four of them so they'll all get a card and you'll get a special one at the end uh, I'll just throw it out for anybody who can take it. Right, have we all got us for a tea? I said, let me, I'm bending forward for my tea. Phil loves his tea. Us British people, and especially British men, we can't even go to war without a drink of tea. We, we wouldn't have won First World War, Second World War, if us men didn't have our drink of tea. Mmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, let's get on now. Let's get on with our first letter. And our first letter, oh, I love them. I love reading your family uh, letters. I really do. It, it cheers me up. It really does. Our first letter, uh, Mrs. Bookmark. Dear Phil, I'd love to know what is your favourite book when you was a young child? Oh, Mrs. Bookmark, well, there's only one book what stands out when I was a, a young little boy at school is The Famous Five by Enid Blyton. I love them books. I bought book after book of the famous five. I just loved it. And what I find in, uh, it hard reading in them days because uh, I, I was awkward at spelling and reading and writing. But my mum was helping us uh, through that spelling when I was a little boy. And I started to read the famous five. And oh, I just loved it when I was a kid. I even pictured myself in the books with one of the, you know, with five of them and that, and the adventures, what they got up to. Just loved them books. Uh, so that was my uh, 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 book, what I liked when I was a little boy, Miss uh, Bookmark. And she's, they always, send me, they always send me some, she sent me a bookmark. Bless her. Well, that was a lovely good letter, wasn't it? Right, what's our next letter? Oh, can't wait. Can't wait to open them. Can't wait. Oh, I forgot to pull a card for Miss Bookmark. I'm sorry, Miss. I'm sorry, Miss Bookmark. We've got a card for you. Oh, that's bad of me, isn't it, today? Oh, naughty Phil. The card for you, Miss Bookmark. Oh, that's lovely artwork, isn't it? Isn't that love, love art for you, Miss Bookmark? And what this is saying is, open your heart. No one is perfect. <laughs> well, I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm not perfect doing this, am I? Stop judging yourself. I've got to stop judging myself. Like my brother's videos, Peter. Be a winner. I'm a winner. Best card reader in the world. It shows with all fan mail and garage down there. Sacks of them. Best card reader in the world. Right. Go on, Phil, because the letter always says you go on too much. Right, go on too much. 
uh, it says no one is perfect stop judging yourself and others and let love heal the situations well thank you guys look heal all our situations well that's a nice letter time is time gotta move on right my next letter is mr vort oh now then mr vort dear phil i am in i am 95 year old i have worked all my life and never had a day off work well up to retiring well done well done on you there ain't many what do that well done what i'm wanting to know phil is do you think i ought to start voting i have never voted in all the 95 years really mr mr vote you've never voted in 95 years no phil because i believe they're gov uh, conservative and labor that all do the same thing year in year out promises loads of things and it never uh, materializes well <laughs> it's a situation what we're in now i just hope they do miss mr miss mr vote i hope they do i hope they sort it all out for you but my advice to you mr vote is yeah get yourself out out and vote uh and uh You'll meet people and you'll get yourself out and a bit of exercise, Mr. Vaught, yeah? Uh, and also, I've got a good idea uh, what's come to the top of my head. Why don't the, uh, at these polling stations have in, uh, uh, the, especially for older end, a few seats in corner and where you can have a drink of tea or a coffee to go voting? Wouldn't that be nice to encourage people out to vote so you could have a bite to eat or uh, a Chris or summer, you know, or a Mars bar or Kit Kat and, a, and, and a, a pot of tea? I'd love a pot of tea and just sit there and then uh, put your vote in. So my advice to you, Mr. Vote, is go and vote next time. We want that a lovely letter. Keep on coming, keep on coming. Right, who we got? Time's time, isn't it? Mr. Gardner. Dear Phil. Dear Phil. I'm in my 70s. And my wife's always wanted me to go out and do some gardening. I've got arthritis in both legs and it, I've also got arthritis in my elbow. I can't hardly walk. I've, I've got a stick and she's wanting me to get out and do the gardens. The gardens are overgrown, Phil. Uh, what's your advice? Well, Mr. Gardner, you're into your 70s. You've got a stick and you've got arthritis. No, don't do it. Tell your wife you're not going to go out and do some gardening. Go to the supermarket and buy a little pots of flowers you know little, little tiny flowers and some lovely ones what are nice nice colorful uh, flowers and uh, put them on windowsill and that i guarantee your life will, your wife your wife your wife will love it your life will love it oh want that a lovely lovely letter i keep i keep forgetting to pull cards i haven't pulled card for mr vote mr vote this is for you we're going back to you mr vote i forgot your card Right, this is you are protected. I'll move on with that. You're all protected and you are protected. You're all protected by your guardian angels and your spirit guides. Right, and Mr. Gardner, I've got a card for you. The way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities, opportunities. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom that one and our final letter today is mr tinkle <laughs> what a name mr tinkle and what it does say here from mr tinkle let's have a look dear phil i always like to hear you when your fans send you letters and you go dear phil can you say it again for me yes i can mr tinkle dear phil so I, I, I say it in I say it in a deep voice, eh? Some at front of father. Deerful. Deerful. Don't sound right, does it? Right, what Mr Tinkle's saying is I I want to know whether to be a footballer or an MP. How old are you, Mr Tinkle? You're in your thirties. I want to know whether to play amateur football or be an MP. Well, 
you can't do no wrong in being an MP. I suggest being an MP if you've got good policies, Mr. Tin <laughs> Mr. Tinkle. Uh, go going to be uh, an MP. We we need them. We do. If you've got really good policies, just, uh, yeah. At the moment, going to be an MP rather than a footballer, because uh, it's a bit late in life, isn't it? Uh, how old is how old are you, Mr. Tinkle? Nearly forty. Nearly for oh. Yeah, it's a bit late for football, but, but go go and be an MP. Go and be an MP. I've got a card for you now, Mr Tinkle, our final card reading. Well, I've got one more. I'm going to pull one, a special one. And that is, this is the blessings in disguise. And I'll read that for you, Mr Tinkle. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare to dream. Whoa, you got a good card there, Mr. Tinkle. You really have. Ooh, keep these letters coming. Keep them coming. You're really good. Right, another card. This is for anybody out there. And that is, be a light to others. Whoa, that's okay, isn't it? Be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. And there's just one letter from Mr. Tin. Mr. Tin, he sent me a tin of soup. But I haven't brought it on camera, but he sent me a tin of soup. And he's just asking, what's your favourite uh, card decks, Phil? Well, Mr. Tin, my favourite card deck is obviously this one. And that is Angel Power Wisdom Horror Card. Horror? <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Tin. Not horror. I'll say it again. Angel Power Wisdom Cards and the Oracle Cards by Gwyn Guffrey. That's my favourite deck. And the other is that one. That's Guardian Angel messages tara by radley valentine that's that one and the other which i'll be reading some of these at, at halloween oh yes i'm going to do a look out for it the 31st of october i'm going to do an halloween special look out for that one i'm going to pull uh, some uh witches cards and some vampire cards on halloween and uh it may be some cards from this deck which is one of my favourite. And that is Everyday Witch by Deborah Blake. I'll be pulling some cards on Halloween for that. Look out for that one. Right, got to push on now because time is time now. I've got to allow other people on YouTube to do their videos. I'm, I'm really, to be honest. So I'll catch you. Going to have another drink of tea. <sighs> have another drink of tea before I get off here. Mm. Gorgeous. Keep safe. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.